Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to another video. Okay, so let's enter the basement down dungeon first. Okay, so yes, it is very dark. Let me just turn on the lights first. Okay, yep, we are now in the basement down dungeon. So today we will be doing a dinosaurs in a box video. We haven't done this for like the longest time, I think for at least a month or so. Okay. There are a couple of um, new figures for me to open up. I've actually got this from um, eBay. It is actually a vintage Triceratops. So yes, we're going to be opening some of this X right over here. I know that many of you guys um, love watching me do this. Okay, so yeah, let's head over to Lever 2 Jurassic World Midlands to begin our video. Okay, so let's go. Okay, guys, so um, for every box you know, for every dinosaur box video, we definitely need like a um, super colossal dinosaur. And um, yes, we are going to bring the Dreadnoughters down. I think many of you guys have not seen this before. So yep, this will be in the video for sure. Okay, so we will be picking up some of the older Jurassic Park figures. For comparison okay so we're gonna take 10 from this row right over here okay so let's go okay 10 beautiful figures from jurassic park i'm gonna take a couple of um the amber collection figures right over here as well as the hammond collection okay so let's pick one two three maybe two more from here okay so let's go okay a mix of five amber collection and Hammond collection figures are inside the box. All right, this one is actually a new Ceratopsian, so I'm pretty interested to see how many Ceratopsians we have, you know, from when it comes to the smaller figures. So let's take this entire row down as well. Okay, all the Ceratopsians are beautifully placed in the box. Okay, this part is basically where we put all the different carnivores from the previous Jurassic World um, series. I kind of miss this um, irritator, so let's put this into the box. Do you guys know that there is actually a new Ictio Venator coming out really soon, okay? Dilophosaurus, yes, this is the latest one. Maybe we can take a couple of this Dilophosaurus for quick comparison. Okay, moving down to this row right here. This is a brand new section that I've just created for the Jurassic World Dominion herbivores. So I think we can actually take all of them out and place them into the box, you know, for, for us to like go through them. All right, next, we are now at this herbivorous section right here, which is dedicated to some of the um, dark built dinosaurs. So the Iguanodon is actually a new addition, okay? So let's, you know, pick up all the different dark built dinosaurs for comparison. We have the Amontosaurus, Parasaurolophus, and um, Oranosaurus, so let's take all of them down, as well as these two long neck dinosaurs, okay? Okay, next, we move down a row to this prehistoric reptiles section. So Lyplerudon is definitely a new one, okay? So Lyplerudon will go into the box. I want to do a comparison with um, the other sea monster, which is, what is this called? I can't remember the name. Canistrophius? I think so. So let's put this into the box as well. Sungaripterus, it's actually a new species that is introduced to the um, series, which is a prehistoric flying reptile. I think it's really nice to have one of them. So we can definitely pick up a few, you know, flying reptiles for comparison. Not too many, just a couple of them will do. All right. Next, we we'll move down another row. And let's take a look at this three different Dimetrodons. All three of them are actually different. So I'm gonna be putting them into the box. Do you guys know there is actually another Dimetrodon in our collection, which is the one, I can't remember what is this. I think this is known as the um, Savage Strike. So let's take this one out as well. Okay, so let's get this Dimetrodon into the box. It will join its companion. Okay, next, maybe let's just pick up a few more dinosaurs and we are good to go. How about the Allosaurus? So if this is the latest extreme damage Allosaurus. So into the box it goes. 
I also want to pick up a couple of um, different Allosaurus to do comparison. Maybe some of them, maybe just two of them will do. This one is from the um, Better at Big Rock um, set. Let's pick up another few more from here. Oh, let's get a Carnotaurus too. This is a new one. I feel like making like a, um, you know, Instagram post of the different Carnotaurus that we have. You know, well, this is one of them. And you know, of course we have like one, two, three. Maybe you can do that, okay? I'll just pick up some of them. Yeah, maybe just all of them, let's go. All right, guys, so let's begin our video right here at Lever 2 Jurassic World Midlands, okay? So let's start off with this box. I'm pretty excited to see what's inside because I can't remember. I know that this is actually a um, brand new set. So let's open this carefully. Uh, I'm gonna be using a box cutter. I mean, if you are a kid, please have your parents to help you. I mean, if you are an adult, please be careful as well because you guys should know that I have actually many cuts on my um, fingers because I'm kind of callous when it comes to um, unboxing of um, um, dinosaurs. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Oh, there's another one here. So let's cut this open. Yep, just hang on a second. Yes, this should be a brand new set that comes with an airplane. Oh, there's another one for us to like cut over here. So let's be um, really careful. All right, this should be open now. So let's have a look at what's inside. Wow, cool, yes. This is basically Kayla Watts. The Quadlus is basically the same one. Um, this Raptor right here, it's definitely a new one, guys. As well as this Pyro Raptor. The plane is really, really beautiful, I must say. Okay, so check this out. These two are basically brand new figures that can be placed into our uh, mini shelf. Um, and Kayla Watts, let me bring you guys to the mini shelf area to do a very quick comparison, okay? Let's go. Okay, so now we have reached the mini shelf section. So as you guys can see, these are basically all the different raptors. So this is actually a um, brand new one. Pyro Raptor, as you guys can see, it is actually not um, part of it. So this is definitely a brand new Pyro Raptor figure. So yeah, we can place this too. Um, over here. It's, get, it's getting a bit tight, but there will be another shelf coming um, soon. So we'll definitely have more space, okay? So let's head on back to our video. Okay, for this plane, we will be putting this plane over here. So this is basically a section where um, we are using to decorate, um, you know, the mini dinosaurs, okay? So we can put the plane right on top of the helipad right over there, okay? I think it will look really, really awesome. All right, next. Have you guys seen this? This is basically the latest Super Colossal Dinosaur. Um, I mean, it's actually known as the Legacy Collection Dreadnoughters. No, not Legacy Collection. This is actually from um, Jurassic World Dominion. It's a really beautiful one. I'm not too sure whether you guys have already scanned this in your effects app. Let me just flip this gigantic dinosaur over. Um, I've actually done a very, very detailed review of this dinosaur um, a couple of weeks back, so you might want to go and check it out. Uh, um, you know, I basically compared it with um, all the different Super Colossal dinosaurs, and this is like the biggest one. It is way bigger than the Brachiosaurus, it's way bigger than the um, um, Apatosaurus. Okay, next, what else we've got? Okay, so this is actually a new Triceratops. So, I mean, it's not new. Technically, it's new to me because I've never owned this. It's basically a um, vintage Triceratops. So let's have a look at this. Wow. It comes with, um, you know, the gear as well. So it's not easy to find this. So check this out. So this is actually from if I'm not wrong, it should be from Lost World 1997 Triceratops. Let's take a look at this. Yes, written right here. I mean, if you see Site B, it's basically um, from 1997. So let's see how we actually um, operate this. Hmm, okay, seems like you have to push the right hind leg back and you can see the head will actually go into this rampaging action. And it comes with this protective gear. So I guess... This is how you um, put it, I guess, like this. 
Yeah, it's very cool. I mean, it was not easy to find one that comes with um, the protective gear and at the same time doesn't cost, you know, too outrageous. Yeah, so this is basically, let me just try to put this on first. I think you have to put it like this and you just like snap it on. Yeah, very cool. It's basically like some protective harness to prevent the Triceratops from like escaping and um, attacking. Very cool. Love this. I'm gonna put this aside first. We, we can do a comparison with the um, older Triceratops figures as well. Um, I'm thinking of whether to open this because this is actually a set that I've bought for Dan Safari, which is our other channel on um, um, dinosaurs. But first, let's take a look at some of the um, older figures first, okay? So, yeah, I wanted to do like an Instagram post of Carnotaurus, different Carnotaurus. So, where is the latest one? Let's see, where's the latest one? The latest Carnotaurus, are you guys able to see it? Um, I think, yes, it's right here. So, this is the 2022 Carnotaurus, um, the Malta Carnotaurus, as you guys can see. Yeah, it looks a little bit like Toro as well, I think. Okay, so this is actually the latest one, um, 2022. This is Carnotaurus Toro, the scar right here. So I would say this is like probably like 2021 or 2020. I can't, I can't remember the exact uh, date. This is basically a Control and Concur Carnotaurus Toro. And this is like the default Carnotaurus uh, Control and Concur. Oh. Yeah, the sounds are still working, which is um, a relief. This is the very first one from Mattel, which is, um, you know, the Action Attack on Taurus. It's very nice. I love this a lot. When it first came out, I thought it was really well done. The detail on this is like incredible. Really love it. So let's put all the Conotaurus right here. We can probably do like an Instagram post as well. Yeah, I'm quite active nowadays on Instagram. So do follow me on Instagram. So um, let's take a look at the Dimetrodons, guys. So Dimetrodons, there are actually four right now, which is very, very cool. This was the very first one. Okay, the very first one, which is the um, Savage Strike um, Dimetrodon. Um, this figure of mine doesn't seem to be working like very, very well. It sort of like comes on and off. So this was the very first one from Mattel. And after that, they produced like three, three in a row for Jurassic World Dominion. This is the extreme damage one. If I'm not wrong, this one actually came along with um, um, Dr. Alan Grant. I can't remember the specifics, but you guys should know. Okay, and this is another one. So this three that Metrodons are... Which one is making the noise? It's kind of annoying. I'm not too sure. I think it's probably the Triceratops. Yeah, forget about it. Okay, so we basically have... Um, for Dimetrodons right now, I, I love Dimetrodons. I think one thing about this Dimetrodons is that they definitely are able to stand very well, which you guys know I'm quite annoyed if um, the figures can't, can't stand. Oh, we totally forgotten about this. This is basically a Bone Breaker Contouris. It's actually one of the um, rarer ones. It's very, very old. It's also from like 1997. But I don't have the um, entire set as you guys can see. Yeah, we, we don't have the entire set. I mean the entire complete figure with all the you know different parts. The gear is also missing, but hopefully we are able to get one that is uh, complete, but it's, it's gonna cost a lot of money. Okay, next, let's take a look at this one. I know there will be a um, brand new um, prehistoric Marine reptile really soon, but this one is um basically what is this? Ly Lyle Plu Rudon. Okay, very very cool. Raw striker Lyle Plu Rudon. I love prehistoric marine reptiles. Uh we have another one which is um the plesiosaurus. Where's the plesiosaurus? I think I've brought it. Oh! How can we forget about Conotaurus Demon? This is probably our rarest figure. It's a loose figure. You can see it's um, kind of like dirty. So I'm gonna take like a wet tissue to clean it right now, okay? Let me show you guys, okay? Okay, let's see whether we are able to clean some dirt off this figure. As you guys can see, it's kind of dirty. Yes, I think we managed to do so. Yeah, it's kind of like yellowish. Let's take some time to um, clean this. 
um, precious dinosaur up. Yeah, we'll spend a bit more time later on after the video to clean this up. This is really, really precious to me. I'm hoping to get, um, you know, one which is in a box. I think that will be my dream. But I think it's it's gonna cost like a few thousand dollars to to have one in mint condition, which is crazy. I'm not gonna spend that kind of money. Yeah. But I really love this figure a lot. It's not the most scientific accurate figure, definitely, definitely. But it's really, really, really a, a classic figure that, you know, I think all Jurassic Park collectors, you know, will love to have it. You have to be really careful when you're cleaning this because you don't want to like, you know, scrape off the paint. Yeah, just have to be really careful. All right, let's put this aside. Sorry for the wait. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to um, show you guys what, you know, everything that I do on the channel. Oh yes, we, we have the plesiosaurus right here. So you guys should know that this is also a prehistoric uh, marine reptile. We have a tennis trophies. I don't think this is a reptile, but you can see all three are basically like sea monsters. There will definitely be lots more sea monsters coming out, which I'm you know very very happy with. Um, Allosaurus. Let's see. Okay, I, I know which dinosaur is making the noise. It's hundred percent the Therizinosaurus. Yeah, this. It's a fantastic figure, but it is extremely, extremely noisy, as you guys can see. Once you push the body, it will just trigger the sounds. So yeah, it's kind of very annoying, right? <laughs> let me just put this aside. Let's, let me just put this right at the side over here, okay? We'll have a closer look at it later on. Okay, next we talk about the Allosaurus. So this Allosaurus is basically the latest Allosaurus that you can find from the entire Jurassic World line. It's known as the Extreme Damage Allosaurus, which is very cool. It comes with a battle damage uh, mechanism, as well as, let me just push this right back first, as well as sounds, as there's a button right here. Very cool. And I really love the tongue. It's painted in blue, dark blue, which is so awesome. Next, we have the um, Raw Attack. Raw Attack Allosaurus. This was released um, earlier this year, okay? So, it's basically created based on this sculpt right here. This is the Battle at Big Rock um, sculpt. sculpt. Battle at Big Rock is basically a short movie after Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World, I mean, in between, Fallen Kingdom and Dominion, okay? So it's basically like a short later movie. So we have three different Allosaurus in our collection today. Okay, very cool. Let's see what else we've got, okay? Let's see what else we've got inside the box. Um, let's take a look at some of the um, dark built dinosaurs. We have an Oranosaurus. This is actually from Camp Cretaceous. Raw Attack. Raw Attack figures are awesome. The switch doesn't look nice, but it's very cool as compared to the um the previous um previous like Rory Voss I think. Yep, so Duck Build Dinosaurs, we have two Paris Rollifers. This is basically the um what is this known as? Sound strike? You know this it's been so long I can't even remember. <laughs> yeah. And we have another Paris Rollifers right over here. This is actually a vintage Paris Rollifers, okay? But this has got to be the best one so far. The Hammer Collection Paris Rollifers. It has got to be the most premium um, Paris Rollifers that you can find. Okay, and um, speaking of dark built dinosaurs, we also have um, plenty of other dark built dinosaurs which I'm extremely happy with. Iguanodon, but I'm not too sure whether they've got the neck correctly because the neck seems a little bit too long for my liking. It comes with um, the scan code, so Iguanodon, very cool. Um, let's take a look at the um, at Montessoris. So all these are basically from the same family. This is actually a um, sound strike. Sound strike, if I'm not wrong. Okay. So very nice. Let's move on. Uh, let's take a look at some of the sauropods. The latest sauropods is actually known as the Ampelosaurus. Ampelosaurus um, is known as the vine lizard, and we also have the previous one, which is the Armagosaurus. 
Hopefully we'll get a repaint of, on this because I don't like the paint scheme on this. It looks kind of um, boring to me. All right, let's see what else we've got. Next, we'll, we'll take a look at the Dilophosaurus, okay? Um, we have a couple of Dilophosaurus which are from uh, the same sculpt. So take a look at this. This is the latest one, which I have totally lost the Venom, okay? So this was like one of the first one. With this one as well, and yeah, this was the latest release. The latest Dilophosaurus is actually a different sculpt. It is slightly bigger, it's slightly nicer as well. So we have um, a couple of our new Dilophosaurus. I mean, we have a total of like at least like six to seven different Dilophosaurus from the entire line. Next, we'll take a look at some of the um, Zapped options as what I've promised, okay? So we, we have a very cool Triceratops over here, a new addition. We also have another one here, which is um, the Pseudoceratops. The Pseudoceratops is actually um, a baby. So this little guy was seen in the movie. Yeah, I think once uh, Dr. Ellie Satter landed at the Biosim lab, you know, she was able to like pet one of the um, um, the Pseudoceratops baby. A new Triceratops, exact same sculpt, but this time it is, um, what, it, what is called, what do you call this? What do you call this? I can't remember the, the names of the, the new Raw Strikers. Yeah, Raw Strikers. I think it's it's way better than um, the previous ones because the previous ones, once you move the tail, it's just raw. So it's, it can be quite sensitive. Um, we'll also take a look at some of the um, older Saps options from Jurassic Park. This is a Chasmosaurus, which is a very nice figure. Um, we definitely... The rods are still working very, very faintly, so we need to replace the batteries very soon. Okay, another Saps option right here is a Styracosaurus. If I'm not wrong, I can't remember. It could be from Camp Cretaceous. There's just way too many for me to... Um, uh, remember, Cosmoceratops is actually from the Legacy Collection, but I don't remember seeing the Cosmoceratops in Jurassic Park movie. I can't remember that as anymore. Zuniceratops was released um, probably like one or two years ago. Very, very beautiful um, Ceratopsian, I must say. This Directosaurus was the very first one, so this has been around for a couple of years. Yeah, many years. Let's see what else we've got. Another one, another Triceratops. This is basically the battle damage. Not a huge fan of this figure because I don't really like how the legs are, are bent. It looks kind of weird, okay? Let's see what else we've got. Sinoceratops, um, old sculpt, but new paint scheme. And this is known as the Raw Striker. Beautiful one, it's a beautiful one. Oh, we still have um, Protoceratops as well, guys. Protoceratops, though they don't really look like, you know, Ceratopsians, um, you know, which are similar to like Styracosaurus and um, Triceratops, but they are actually like Ceratopsians, yeah. Okay, so let's see what else we've got. Um, let's pick this up as well. Okay, so this is basically another Styracosaurus. This is from the Camp Cretaceous series, if I'm not wrong. Okay, next. Um, we'll take, oh, another Triceratops. Yeah, so we have loads of Triceratops in today's video. This is actually a JP3, which is um, from year 2001, if I remember correctly. No, from year 2000. Let's see, what else we've got? Pachycephalosaurus. This one, I can't remember when this was. Oh, this is actually from um, Hasbro, 1997. Okay. This is another classic figure, I say. Um, I'm, I can't remember who made this, but this is from 1994. It's probably Kenner. Yeah, it should be Kenner. Okay, this is actually an Astromanosuchus, but it doesn't have the, you know, the missing piece right here. Scutosaurus, fortunately, it comes with that piece. Okay. Yep, this piece can be removed, but I don't want to remove it. Because the moment I remove it, I will lose it. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Next, this is the latest Pachycephalosaurus um, from the Legacy Collection. It's really hard for me to move this up. Yeah, so it's a nice figure. Same sculpt, I must say, same sculpt. 
Okay, this is basically the uh, Amber Collection. As you guys know, Amber Collection, it's... There's no more Amber Collection. They have changed it to Amber Collection. Uh, I mean, Hammond Collection, which is awesome. The um, Hammond Collection figures are all extremely, extremely well done. I really love all of them. Okay, so... Yep, my figure, all of them seems to be working very well. They can stand well, they can uh, basically do everything really well. This is the um, Hammond Collection Velociraptor, which is really nice. I've brought a couple of um, you know, prehistoric flying reptiles to do comparison. This is basically the Sunga Ripteris, which is really, really nice as well. So some of the other previous flying reptiles we have include like the um, Ramphorhynchus, okay? The Morphodon, which you guys are, you know, extremely familiar with. We also have the Tapi Jera, which I'm kind of surprised because the Tapi Jera, until now, has only one paint scheme. So I'm kind of surprised that they didn't come up with more paint scheme for the Tapi Jera. And the Amber Collection, the Morphodon. Okay, there are two Dunmorphodons from the same set, but I've only brought one to show you guys because the other one comes with a stand and it's very inconvenient for me to show you. Next, we have a um, Stegosaurid, which is a Miragaya. Yeah, this is a Miragaya, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, beautiful one. Um, I prefer them to be slightly bigger rather than, you know, this size. I think that would be awesome. Yeah, this is the Irritator. I kind of miss this um, figure. I have not, have not, you know, hold it for quite some time. And speaking of um, Irritator, there is actually another Spinosaurid that is coming out really soon which is the Ictio Venator. I've placed an order, hopefully it will arrive soon, but I think we can only get it like at least in August. Next, we have a Parasaurola first. Not a huge fan of this figure because I feel that the detailing can be way better, the sculpt can be way better. And uh, yeah, it's a kind of small. I was hoping to get like this size, a blue one, a gray and a blue version, which resembles the one from Jurassic World Dominion. I thought, you know, that will be Really, really nice. But no, we didn't get that. And um, yeah, two more Triceratops for comparison. Those are basically baby Triceratops. Another one right over here. Okay, I think to end up the video, let's... Shall we open up one of this? I know that many of you guys have have watched me open this of like so many times. But I know that a lot of you actually love, you know, watching me unbox. I'll be getting new figure soon wave two it should be arriving in a couple of weeks time yeah i'll be getting them i can't wait to um have a look at them the wave two would definitely have um different new dinosaurs which i'm really looking forward to have them okay let's have a look and let's see what's inside okay Okay, so you have a pack of slime and um, a figure. It seems to be... It feels like a Mosasaurus. Let's, let's, let's have a look at this. Oh, it's a Gigar. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, I, I think it's cool. Because our Gigar, it can stand well, so hopefully this one will be able to stand well and we can sort of like replace it and put it inside our shelf. Let's see. Let me move this. Yeah, this one is great. And um, yeah, this is basically the Gigar, okay? Alright, I think that's about it guys. Thanks for watching this video. Um, yeah, I'll probably take some nice photos with my, um, you know, for my Instagram. If you guys have not followed me on the Instagram, do follow me over there. I post reels, I post stories um, on regular basis, so definitely be there. And um, yeah, I try to reply to comments over there more often than on YouTube. But it's not possible for me to reply every single comment on YouTube and Instagram as well. It's gonna take mine entire day so i'm not able to do that okay so thanks for watching my videos i will see you guys in the next one okay thanks and goodbye